to rehearse. Hey, hey, Chad, you already know what it is. We were right here live, bro. You had to pull up to the city of San Antonio, my boy. This is my first ever time, but you already know who we're here with tonight. You already know. Uh, Santos PRC, yourself, we're in the tone. We're in the big tone. We're in the SATX, my boy. Right here, our area code is 210 for everyone out here. Let's hit up the Ojo Loco later for sure. Ojo Loco, fool. You, you keep on mentioning Ojo Loco, but okay. What exactly is Ojo Loco? It's um my favorite wing stop, wing wings like wing, <laughs> wing stop. You know, you know my wing my wing stop. You know, you stop there for a bit, you get some wings. And wait, is it better than wing stop though? It's way yeah, better than wing stop. Though. The customer service is the key. Neta. Well, yeah. I don't know. Wing stop can't be top, bro. For me, you know what I'm saying. But Let's we gonna have to we gonna have to we gonna have to put it to the test, bro. Hey, we're he taking, was saying we're taking it to Ojo Loco later. <laughs> Look, Santos was saying that he knows everybody in the city, that he's the most tapped in with the you, city. You got you to gotta check in with, uh, yeah, me. Yeah, me, right? Yeah, yeah bro. Me or D. Kane, both of us. So, he's, my, he's my secretary. He'll be here later. So, so you know, do you know who Swifty Blue is? Swifty, Swifty Blue? Blue. He, yeah. he's, he's a rapper in L.A. And he says when you go to, go to, when you go to L.A., you have to check in with Swifty. So, so you're saying in San Antonio, they have to check in with you? They got to check in with me first. Hey, hey, you, hey, you checked in the city in. already, bro. I checked in. I'm checking in right now. Shoot. This fool right here, he may not look like, you know what I'm saying? Pero, pero bien que, you know what I'm saying? Bien que respect him, bro. So, yeah. you, fools, uh, you fools better, um, you know what I'm saying, stay, stay on your toes whenever you're out here if you don't check in with him. But, but in, yeah, bro, what in. you, uh, is, this, is this where you grew up at? Yeah, this is, I grew up in the east side uh, of San Antonio. Highlands. I don't know if you ever heard of Highlands. Highlands. Highlands, San Antonio. But shout out to Highlands here, East Side, had, uh, San Antonio. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, we we live out there. And who's the biggest TikTokers out here, bro? Because I know it's you, D. Kane, but I don't know like aside from oh Reyes, the man. Yeah, my, yeah Reyes. Reyes. He he can bro. Who who else? There's you don't want to mention them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few people <laughs> here, bro. Uh, you know, y'all make y'all's name out of yourselves. You know, if you're on the podcast ever or on an interview with 444 Vato, you know you made it. Yeah, and you know what's so funny is that he's the only one. Actually, it's you, bro, and Wendy Ortiz. They call me 444 Vato. <laughs> 444 Vato. 44. But shout out, shout out to uh, Wendy Ortiz, bro. She, uh... She she don't you know what I'm saying she don't really rock with the kid but I I, I rock with uh, Carlos yeah, King saying. Carlos Hey bro I actually just seen in uh in Denver you just flew out over there but did, did you link up with Wendy Ortiz's baby daddy so Yeah we went on a secret date you feel me Oh ah. you switch hitter my boy yeah. you switch it mother ways <laughs> nah, but for real, who did you did you actually link up because it's because I, I went uh, on your TikTok live and somebody asked you or I think I asked you what you doing out here. And you're like, I, I came to link up with Wendy Ortiz's baby daddy, Carlos. So I was just trying to fi really figure out if you asked what you actually did. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't even consider it. I, I didn't say Wendy Ortiz's baby daddy. I said Canelo's father. Oh, that's the bigger title. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going after. Nah, but you, not you, Canelo's tia. Oh, <laughs> Yo, no, we got to cut that out. You see that? Look, Yo. look. Look, <laughs> look! If I, if I laugh at that, team, ba me. team baby daddy. <laughs> I'm a baby daddy, so that's why, it's, bro. The <laughs> buzz ball already. Hit. I, I I can't I can't laugh too much because they're they. they bro, the Wendy Ortiz they're fans they're are they're crazy, they're bro. Crazy. You know what they try to do to me? They try to go like mass report like on my pages. Oh yeah, yeah. They even um. They even try to cancel me because of the AI page, bro. I don't know if you saw that page. <laughs> like the, there's like the AI page out oh, here. Oh, saw them the video they did of me, bro. Yeah, like, okay, so it was funny. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys. This was what the AI page posted. TikToker Santos just got out of jail after serving an entire week. He apparently ran fades while in there and lost only three times. <laughs> we only got the news through his TikTok account, but a lot of people say he might be faking this in order to copy TikToker D Kane. Chat. Yo, you got me, DK. You got me, bro. We were at the same time. We just funny, bro. Yo, you got me, DK, bro. Yo, that's funny. We're both locked up at the same time, but so these fools said you you copied DK and they said that you ran you <laughs> ran three phases and you lost three <laughs> times, bro. Wait, where was behind that phase? Fuck you. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, hey, so so tell us like a little bit. Did you run any phase out there, like? Realistically, uh, realistically they the first second I got in there, bro, they told me and the person that dropped me off first, they told me to avoid a, a person named Bubbles. Bubbles. So that's a, that's that's a topic 
you know that you know who's who's who is this fool? Who's this fool? Yeah, who's, he, who's that fool? Bubbles. Okay, the, just try to remember this as a kid. Have you ever tried to blow bubbles as a kid? If it pops you, do the do the movement real quick. We just go like this. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Bubbles, oh. bubbles. Well, whatever bubbles wanted, bubbles got. <sighs> Did you, you feel me? did he did you did he get what you what he wanted with you? I, I traded ramen noodles for like That's crazy. Yeah, you, you had to bro. trade ramen noodles or you had to trade some noodles. So you were in there for how long, bro? <clears throat> I was in there for Let me do the math. Well I think you said like six six, seven days? Let me do the math. I'm good. We gonna see how long he was he was up in there for. He's gonna get us the entire uh como se dice. Uh, details, you know what I'm saying? I was in there for 168 hours. 168 hours. That's that's more than I've been up in there, bro. That's that's kind of a long time, bro. 168 hours, bro. Every freaking minute was an hour, and every hour was a day. Is it as bad as like for people that have never been in jail, bro? Is it as bad as they say? To be honest. I was playing chess in there every day. You playing chess in there? Yeah. It's kind of like a big daycare. To be honest, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a bit, yeah. but it's just that they tell you what to do. You know what I'm saying? No, not really. We tell them what to do. Hey, but did you rec- did you have any people that you knew in there? Uh, not really. Not really. I'm really, I'm really good at like you know making friends. Making friends. Uh, making I friends. made bubbles my friend. <sighs> That's a crazy friend to have, bro. <laughs> I feel like he's a friend with benefits to a lot of people. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not like that, bro. Benefits is nah, crazy. Yo, and also he had a best friend named Kool Aid. I feel like he's just making <laughs> this up at this point. Yo, but I already know the cheese man pages are gonna pick this up and they're gonna be like, "Hey, uh, Santos had a little, a little, uh, what is it called? A little, a little playpen guy, or what is it called?" A prison wife. I had a prison a wife. Little, a little, or you were someone's prison wife up in there. No, 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 no. They call they call me uh, sweet cakes and pumpkin cakes. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I don't know what that means, but I guess so. Like I, I didn't take a shower for a whole week. They, Is it because you scared to go to the shower? Nah, bro. I, as soon as I saw bubbles posted up, <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Are you like nah?" Yo, I can't bro, go up in there. Nah, I'm telling you, me. bubbles control everyone there. That's crazy. Bubbles is a. He's a masculine dude. He's, Pretty big dude. He's a big. He's a big fool. He's like. He's like forty four but he's a, he's a pretty big dude. All tatted up. You know. Shout out to Bubbles and and Jill, but made the time go by faster. That's crazy. Yeah. You going? Uh, you almost look like you're going the Lalo gone crazy way. Cause you remember Lalo went to jail, uh-huh. and he got out, and then I think he went to jail again, and then like you know what I'm saying every single time he had like a story to tell, bro. But I don't know if he had an encounter with the fool named Bubbles. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> Yo. saying? Everyone uh, runs into bubbles in some job, you know. That's crazy. But what's your relationship like with the uh, Lalo Gone Brazy? Lalo Gone Brazy, <sighs> you know I respect that fool, but you know, but you don't really rock with him too much. Nah, not, not really. You know, I feel like I, I feel like I always wish the best for people, but you know, you can't get along with everybody. Not everyone's your friend. Mmm. I remember, bro. I actually saw like a, a video, and it was like you. You were on live with Lalo Gone Brazy. This is actually that's actually a first ever video I saw of you, bro. Um, it was maybe we were like, counting the money. Well, I, I don't know if it was you. Ca- maybe it was the same live way, but uh-huh. what I saw is like you were telling Lalo off, bro. Like you said something like, like, uh, like nobody made me Lalo. Tell him some. Like I have the video, bro. Like yeah, I literally yeah, have the video. Yeah. yeah. But they they were talking like you were telling Lalo all of this, and Lalo like he. I don't know if he didn't respond or if they just cut off the clip right there, but mm-hmm. is that like when the when the beef started or did nah, it start? No, nah, no, we that? we like to, to be honest, most of my beefs, it's just most of the times it's miscommunication or it, we get excited. It's just egos. We, we, we have egos. Sometimes egos. It says you know like a lot. Yeah, egos yeah, yeah. kill. Egos start wars. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fact. You no, know, I like I always kept it cool with him. He wanted to start beef. You know, I'm not someone just to like hold back. I like talking shit back. This food is very controversial, bro. I'll give you that. <laughs> but you like it though? You like like the controversy? Sometimes, sometimes, bro. Sometimes, uh-huh. sometimes it's mucho. You know, it's it's too much. But what, when's the when's the point where you were like? Has there ever been a point where you were like, all right, bro, I went too far this time. You know what I'm saying? Con alguien, con yeah. Con there's, there's been a few times like that, but you know, 
Even even if it's a small beef or a big beef, I always like you know I always check yeah. up on the person. I don't want you know I don't, that's someone's you know baby girls. That's someone's baby boy. You know that's respectful. So I, we, I always try to like check up on them. If not, then I, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if they're my enemy, you gotta love your enemies. Yeah, I love your enemies, bro. I love your enemies. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, like it's never good to hold a grudge. Does, does this apply to like exes? I mean. Like where you exes. still you still love them you still have like some sort of respect uh, for them exes but I, I still wish them the best yeah yeah you had like one ex right the one yeah. that the, yeah. the famous one the famous one yeah where so she I, was I kinda I kind of I'm gonna be honest I kind of helped her get back up on on her feet you know like after yeah after everything she for fell real? off she, she fell off and and the thing is she reached out to me when uh, she was she was uh. You know, she when was I down was, bad. She yeah, was down bad. she was down bad. You know, and, and you still have her out. Yeah, I still have her out. I, I still, I still, I still wanted to see her do good. You know, and then you know, obviously, I found out a few things about her that I didn't. I didn't she f- didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. You know, like. It, but I, how was she keeping this away from you, though? Bro, she took two, two, three weeks off of a, uh, you know, working where she was working at. And that's how you. And knew. she's still doing it to this day. You know, like she didn't learn nothing. So, so there's no possibility you getting back with. Oh hey, what's her no, name? No. Man. That's crazy, bro. And 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 you were were you still like m- managing her at this time, like around this time, managing her? Yeah, I mean, I was helping her out, like go either way. She would, she just, she had an explosive behavior. Oh, she had an explosive behavior. Yeah. But that's why you're supposed to get like the females, bro, that don't be like turning up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the females get mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? You say you say something and they like don't respond, like because there's some females, bro, that are like very aggressive. Mm-hmm. That's like there's some influencers, bro. I don't want to name them, but they're very like aggressive. Like like the relationship between that female and somebody else wouldn't work because mm-hmm. they respond to you too too crazy, bro. Like they yeah. almost want to like clown you in front of other people and all that. So I don't know, bro. But I, I feel you on that, bro. Yeah, I feel like if you're gonna look for a girl, let let God put her in your life. Yeah, don't look for a girl. Hey, you know what the scripture say? It says, uh, "Come on, say say." Uh, only the Lord can provide you with an understanding wife. Oh, hey. You know what I'm saying? My boy knows. Show them the you ring. Show them the ring. Hey. Show them the ring. You know what I'm saying? But um, shout, shout, out to, uh, shout out to the wifey, bro. Um, <clears throat> Como se dice? Um, what about uh, your 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 relationship with uh, with Wendy Ortiz, bro? Is that, is that a good one? You know what? I, I always respected Wendy Ortiz. When I, she was hate, getting hated on, and again, Wendy, I know you, if you probably do watch this, you know, I rooted for you they gonna clip and it. Carlos, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I always wanted, I when you were getting hated on, I I was one of the only people that stood up for you, you know? And I, I remember that time. I remember that time she even, she shot me the follow, she reposted it and everything. Like, I was like one of the first, one of the first creators to stand up for her. Oh. Video went viral. Video went viral, like, you know, like. Oh, whenever they were talking about the kid situation. Yeah, the kid situation, you know? And, and I was, I was, even if I had no relationship or nothing to do with her, because I still, was Carlos's friend? I still stood up for, you know, for someone that I believe wasn't doing a bad job. And I and and the exact thing that I said in the video was, when you're teased, they don't give us a book to be a parent. You're doing good. That's facts. Yeah, you know, you know, they don't give us a, they don't make a book to say, hey, this is how you become a parent. Yeah. Do you do you think that she catches too much hate, bro? Like uh, just like you know what I'm saying? Because I guess like. People find it kind of that it's that it's too long of a time, and I'm not saying that. I already know what they're gonna say, "Oh, 44 Vato, you're saying that." No, 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 bro. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the people find it that it's too long of a time period for her to be leaving like her kid, even yeah. though she's leaving it with someone. You know what I'm saying? She's leaving the baby with someone. But do you think that is too much, or do you think that she should tone it down a little bit? I feel like that's. Um, I feel like she's she knows what she's doing. You know, yeah. Even yeah. if she's young, old, or mature or, or immature like she's gonna find out along the, and that's what life is about you know yeah. you 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 mess up and then you look back and you're like oh i made a mess that's fair you know I, I made a mess and it's time to clean it up or it's time to learn from that mess and make sure i don't make that mess again that's facts you bro know, like yeah, yeah yeah i feel like when you should, it, it's, it's for anyone on social media we, we're on a stage you know a lot of people are watching us a lot of people want to judge us. A lot of people want to, and that's okay. I, everyone that I know, you're on your phone, probably watching this, laying down, you know, all style, style. Yeah, Maybe yeah. at work during lunch break, whatever. But when, every time you judge someone's life, you know, you're just judging yourself. You know, so apply that to your life. And that's facts, bro. Hey, uh, what about 
Her her sister Evelyn Ortiz. Oh, she's right. bad. Now play. <laughs> hey, you know, yeah, yeah, Kevin, hey, I play. I play Kevin. I play. Hey, Kevin. I'm like Kevin about to come after you, bro. Nah, I play Kevin. I'm playing. They look the same, bro. Nah, I play. Hey, I'm Kevin, just bro. Just uh, just know. I don't know if y'all are still together, but if y'all broken up, bro, I would love to do an interview with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he goes for all the exes. <laughs> bro, hey, we, I got to stop doing that, bro. They going to come after they, me. Hey, hey, he's smart. He's doing what I do. Bro, you know, it's just my you know job, what the, though, Chad. You know what the hyenas do when they're praying? Like, they go around the people around the prey. You, yeah, you that's, do it. That's smart. That's, 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 is that what I be doing? Yeah, this is what you be doing. That's what I be doing. When I want to be big clown, bro, just be like going It's kind of like a mind game, huh? Mm, a mind game. I didn't even notice I be doing be, that. You be looking like a peacock, like riding from Ah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, nah, strategies. see, but chat, you guys have to remember that this is my job, bro. Like, the reason why I flew out to San Antonio, like, nobody, nobody sponsored me to come on this trip. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing was paid for by me and all this, but this is my job, though. So, you guys got to respect it. Uh, if you respect guys don't, it's all good, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we still give you uh, stuff to watch. So Observe the hustle. You know what I'm saying? The entertainment the is hustle. still there. So, um, but yeah, bro, that's, uh, that's dope. Do you think that she faked? Her breakup to get to a million followers, Evelyn Ortiz? I mean, she definitely got a lot of simps to follow her. A lot of what? Simps. Oh, a lot of simps. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Uh, you know, Evelyn, if you stay single, let me know. You think that she faked the breakup? <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe she might. No. I feel like yes she, or no. Yes or I no. I feel way. like she did break up, but like, yeah. I, I feel like this is what a lot of girls do now these days. They just like want that little freedom. Once you start getting, you know, like start feeling yourself, you want the, the liberty now. That, bro, that is so fast. They want to so keep, keep you chained up, though. So she knows Kevin's not going to go anywhere. Hey, Kevin's not going to go nowhere, bro. Kevin ain't going nowhere. And if Kevin does that interview with me, she's not going to talk to him no more. <laughs> 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 and that's probably why he's not going to do the Yo, interview. With you. But Kevin. look, I ain't reached out to him. Yo, Kevin, he wants you, to do it, though. It's free. Kevin, do the, do the, um, do the interview. I'll pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you have to get that will pay you. Bro, if he does an interview, <laughs> you're gonna go. I, I, I'm trying to like go all around through all those. Nah, you have, you have to go against. You have to go yeah. against the girls, bro. You have to. Look, bro. There was there was some other ones that also wanted to. There's there's just some influencers though that I feel like. Do you I know just who you should really interview? Victor and Leah. Who is it? The, Victor, you did this. You actually did this. Yeah. The who's famous? Yeah, the, the I'm sorry, chat. If I don't know who he is, I just really don't get that invested. I've never seen that fool before. I seen him. Yeah, bro. Okay, okay. Look, Mister Confuzzle might be here later. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. Mister Confuzzle might be here later. Yeah, you'll be like, oh my gosh. You're gonna see him. The problem is. Him just waking up, he be on live till like six in the morning. Bro wakes up at, at four in the morning, getting his day started. I'm like, damn. Pero este, qué más te dice? Oh, okay. So I always, you know, what I'm saying, I'm, I'm gonna just work my way around all the different influencers, and then we could, you know, what I'm saying, talk about more stuff. Yeah. But <clears throat> Wilito, you're cool with Wilito? Uh, I mean, I respect again. I respect his hustle. You talk to him? Ah, uh, not really, not anymore. Not anymore. Or so you used to talk to him, but yeah. you guys fell out. Nah, it's just, it's just you know, he's his own thing. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> he's his own thing. You know, Walito, I respect your hustle. Shout out to Corona. What's up, Corona? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Corona, bro. I, I don't, I don't know Corona that much. But uh, what uh, Shotty Bay, bro? Shotty Bay. Oh, that's a good rapper right there. Rapper. <clears throat> Yeah, Shadi Bay. Okay, so you want to know the reason I met Shadi Bay? Okay, uh, yeah, I don't know if you've seen it. this video with me and Shadi Bay, but this is a uh, this is one of the first times we uh, ever hung out. This is the first time I ever met her. No. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Are you up in a video? Yeah, that's me. This will be in her laying down. That's you. Oh, yeah, me and her. Yeah, me and her were laying down. Yeah, we and her were uh, bestie hey, besties. You feel me? Is this is this before she met her man? And then this is you know who that is. I think he looks familiar. Yeah, he's um, <clears throat> M's new boyfriend. That Metro girl. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Wait, what we could Meche, do Meche. is like low key talk about everyone that I'm in. Like, see, but Metro is a minor though. I just feel like okay, okay. I that's really the re yeah. I I'll, I'll let you speak on whatever you want to, boy. But I don't want to speak. That's about a big question for a lot of my 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 viewers. They're like, 
Yeah, no, I, I know you had a situation. Like, I'm not saying like I met her at a club. I met her at a club. She what the hell was she doing at a club? Exactly. How, how and she's was 17, I, I, yeah, Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I I was confuzzled too. I I don't watch TikTok. As surprising as I am on TikTok, I don't watch it. I didn't know who she was. She's how old? She's 17. Look, chat. I want to tell you guys something. But I was 18 at the time when I was, you know. There is an artist that fell off, right? His name starts with an X. He was. Was he dating Meche? Was it somebody? Was he dating Meche? He, he, no, 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 no. But I know who you're talking about, but like, Namas, you know. <laughs> I, I know too much about that cheese man, bro. But I was involved with the cheese man too. You said what? It was, it was a, it was a cycle of like you know recycling of friends, like hop, friend hopping. That's crazy. He went from you know Meche to her best friend. Yeah, no, that's and crazy. And then, and then. I found out, uh, you know, Lil Birdie told me that, you know, Fatima was even at Javi's house. Yo, Javi hit all three. That's, you feel that's me? breaking news right there, Chad. Yo, um, Javi really, Javi really a pimp like that, you know. Hey, should we clip that part out or no? <laughs> Yo, Javi, but hey, let he, me tell you, so, his, how, dad, his dad's very powerful. So. I, I want to ask you something. How old is Fatima? Fatima's like eighteen. But was she seventeen at that point? No, she's nineteen this year. Okay, so he's in this safe zone. Still, I still think he's he's, he's in uh, he's in a safe zone. Yeah, but uh, Mitch has a a little uh, habit of lying about her age. Oh, so it's a little and, bad habit. And you know what's so crazy, bro? When I first saw her, just scrolling through TikTok live, I thought this female was about twenty two years old. No, she in person, 17, bro, bro, she's like almost my height. She's bro, a she pretty big girl. She don't look her age, she and she's over here doing these performances. And she got tattoos and everything. And I mean, tattoos. you had a club. You think I would have known? She has tattoos. She, that's what I'm saying. Chad, hey, that is so dangerous. Oh, about her age, tell yeah. me. But the reason me and her fell out was because she she was more into the Santeria. And I'm very against that. Mm. You know? I feel you on that. And so she started doing like weird gestures. This is when I was already starting to pop off on TikTok. And then she kind of introduced me that, that she was doing that. And I was kind of cut her off right there. She went insane. I mean, that's that's when... The TikTok drama started going crazy. It's just, I, I didn't want to. I, I didn't I have no hate towards her. I didn't judge her or nothing. I just kind of wanted to break ties because she was buying kids clothes for me. She was trying to like win me over, and I had completely told her no. I don't want nothing more than friends. Do you think, aside from her doing Santeria, do you think that there's also other influencers and around this entire circle that I, also do Santeria and sort of witchcraft? You know what I'm saying to get that fame. Yeah, one time she had Facetime me, and this is the craziest thing, which yeah. I can't even figure it out this day. She lit up a lot of yellow candles, yellow candles, and I, I started so observing. You know, fame, money, fame, money, and then what I started noticing, she Facetime me one time. She was going over to, um, I don't even want to say too much. This is every time I I tell someone this story, it's something always happens. But I know God's powerful; He's gonna protect me. But yeah, yeah. Gia's mom passed away with her in the house alone. Gia's mom did? Yeah, Gia was in Miami with Calvin Seal. Uh huh. Mecha was alone with Gia's mom. Gia's mom passed away in front of her house. And she was doing this. Uh, but how did it happen? Random. Random. Sacrifice. So, uh, the, the, I remember when I was in high school, bro, and there was some food that told me, hey, bro, I know how to do witchcraft, but like whatever you do, it returns back to you. Three times. No, she started Negative. blowing up. She she became three. She was in three music videos after that. She. Hey Chad, let me she, tell you guys something, bro. A lot of that stuff that you guys see on TikTok, social media, bro, is all fake, bro. And a lot of fools got it, not through God, bro, mm. through the devil. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, like before I, I even went to LA, yeah. I went to this house. This house is. Hey, we gonna we gonna put the allegedly label on here. Allegedly, that way nobody allegedly, catches it. Everybody you know allegedly, what I'm everybody. Nothing's real out there in LA, to be honest. Yeah, Nothing's bro, real out there. This there's, is, a, there's a lot of weird things going on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Ryan Garcia thing, maybe he is crazy, but he, he just sp speaks some truth. Mm. You know? No, I, I agree with that too. He yeah. was kind of wilding, but he, know, he's wilding yeah, now he's for the obviously wilding. for the like the, yeah. the entertainment, but yeah, but he does speak a lot of truth behind all. I still think that was kind of faking it, like lucky, like sometimes, like. I feel like he's not that crazy. He has to just because it's his safety. Like he he went he changed so much within like 
two months, bro. Just whenever he started promoting that Devin Haney fight, I for sure, I for sure think he got cloned or something. <laughs> you think he got cloned? No, he got diddied for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, hey. and maybe in Dubai because I, I don't know if you noticed, he was he was getting spoiled out there. He was getting spoiled out yeah, in Dubai. He for sure, got diddied. Chad, there's a lot of foods that got diddy, bro. Hey, yeah. we've been hearing that you got diddy by uh, bubbles in the pan. <laughs> About to show you what Bubbles showed me now, Blake. <laughs> nah, but yeah. Hey, free my boy Bubbles. <laughs> bro, free my boy Bubbles. He's free doing at least 20 Bubbles. years in there. At least 20. So, when he, in 20 years, let me know when to fucking move out the country. Thanks, bro. <laughs> hey, shout out to my boy Bubbles. Nah, Bubbles definitely got a long list to go <laughs> visit. Hey, but for real, hopping back on the Meche subject, bro. So, that's honestly really, really crazy. I didn't know that she was into that. Um... But that's why I always warn people about even the music that, like, sometimes we listen yeah. to. Este, whenever Nata and J.O.P. sang that song, when yeah. it's like something about Santeria. Mm-hmm. Santeria que casi nadie trae por ahí va. Like, that, bro, after Nata sang that song, he got extremely sick. Mm-hmm. Did you know about that? Yeah. He yeah. got extremely sick. And he was like, bro, I'll never sing about that stuff ever again. Because it's real, bro. It's real. It's, it's real, 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 but it's not good. Like, Santeria is not good. So before I was telling you earlier before we even started the the live stream. Yeah. Um right before I blew up my my pastor told me like he was like you're you're going to be famous and you're going to have a lot of people hate you. And you're going to have a lot of people like he kept predicting everything. He prophesied everything that was going to happen in the last few months there's going to be people that falsify against you. They're going to the the, the the demons are going to send people for because he said your main thing that's going to happen is you're going to become uh, a prophet of God, you're gonna spread the word, you're gonna help out people, and along the way, I was touching people, you know, like, oh my god, that sounds wrong, but like, I was, t- I was touching, people's, you know? I touching people's lives, touch- spiritually, touching, spiritually, yeah, and and I helped out a lot of people, and a lot of people got envy for me, other influencers got envy because sometimes it wasn't the plan to get the influencer, but the people around them, it was triggering the demons, it was triggering the demons, so that's when I started realizing the demons were the influencers. The There's demons and, and they got so envious, so envious, and it's like the people that had the most problems. And you could see when they they hate against me, they'd start twitching, 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 twitching. Look at the, all the replays. They twitch. They go crazy. They they laugh when my name gets humiliated. I know they really do. Like it's like if you observe the shit that I get on hate, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's just demonic. Bro. It's like demonic. the whole unseen world, yeah. bro. The whole unseen side of things. Cause chat, all that stuff does exist, bro. Like yeah. we could see stuff right here in the physical, but bro, there's a whole other world that we cannot see. And that stuff is all in the Bible. People are gonna be like, Oh, you're stupid for saying that. No, go ahead and read it in the Bible. It says it. There's yeah, and I feel like a lot of people go to this too, you know. Like Yeah. But I feel like I've affected and, and I had three hundred million people view my, my page within I saw that. Three You're months, going crazy, bro. bro. You're going three crazy. Three months, three months, bro. Yeah. I looked at other creators that are like 10 times bigger than me, looked at their views, not even 10 million views. That's a their, blessing, on, on, their, on their page. That's a blessing. I was like, that's, that's exactly what he prophesied. He's like, you're going to be known everywhere. Everyone, like every airport I go to, at least one person recognizes, hey, the, you're the guy with that achievement. Or, hey, you're... Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone knows me. Like, hey, you're the real billion viewed vato. <laughs> I'm, I'm really billion viewed, bro. My boy, billion viewed vato. We got two billion viewed vatos right here. We got here, the billion me? viewed satos right here. Sure. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're almost there, you know. Probably like in three more months, I'll probably hit a billion views. If you do it, you're already at 300 million. That's, that's a lot, bro. I haven't checked my thing, but I guarantee you, you're not... Uh, we're probably right, right there Maybe I don't know We'll, we'll check You want to check right now? You, you want to you check right now? We're going to go We're going to go Million for million right now Oh uh, my homie from prison Just texted me How does this fool get a phone? <laughs> Yo <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me it's Bubbles yeah. Bubbles is already texting him That's He's like boy. Don't do the interview <laughs> That's my boy He a mafia I don't even want to say What kind of What kind of gang that is But Before you post that I was going to go live stream bro. He said 300 million views I got 324 million. Damn. But I don't know. I don't know. But I, you have Wait, a lot. Go right here. Go, go right here. Viewers. You have two, yeah, 200 million view, people view. 221 million? You see. That's my shit. Oh, oh, like distinct viewers. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let okay. me see. Let me see. And new viewers, 42 million. Hey, look at, look at my thing. is going up, though. Ooh. Yeah, it's doing good. It's doing good. Hey, we're growing. Chat, look at. Yeah, my shit dropped down already. Because I haven't 70 been. million? Yeah. Hey, it's you at seven, bro. But seventy is a lot. Yeah, I've been I've been slacking low key. Now wait, wait, is it my main? 
so there was a video right that uh-huh. popped out of you in a video right you were in a video and you were carrying some type of frenchie and some food like snickered you like this and you yeah. fell on the ground and they said oh something's got knocked out yeah what that, happened then okay so that day um and a lot of people this is the thing that i'm talking about bro there's this one dude that um kept trying to hang out with me right and, and i met him like, awesome did he stuff no i like <laughs> on, on, coincidentally i, okay. I met him right okay. and then um that dude set me up that dude became my friend that last two days and and I knew what he was doing. He had some weird, like, sneaky intense. He was kind of shysty, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was like, hey, let's go to this pool party. But, like, literally five minutes later, Brisa, Brisa from Arizona, calls me. And she's like, don't go to this pool party. Everyone's telling me. I said, I heard. Yeah, and I'm like, all right. But, well, well, because, but why was she telling you not to go? Yeah, and she was just like, a lot of people don't like you, this oh. and that. I'm like, well, what do you mean? Y'all all like me, you know? Like, everyone there, like, I was cool with them. Like, you know, I had yeah. met them in my city and... I've always been a cool ass dude, everyone. And she, all of them can, you know, attest to it. Yeah, yeah, you know, testify that. But um, for some reason, like, you know, the people there were trying to set me up, and I wasn't trying to pull up to that party. To be honest, I had other things to do. You know, I don't yeah. care. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna go somewhere I'm uninvited. And then, you know, I pull up to the party. Like he's like, this is a different location. He's like persuading me to go. And all I was there was just to have a little good time. You know, it was my first time ever in Phoenix, Arizona. This is in Phoenix? Yeah, Phoenix, Arizona. And, you know, I pull up to the party right away. They come out with straps. You know, they pull, Did they pull it out on yeah, you? Yeah, there's, uh, like, a David's little, you know, minion, Cash. I don't know if you know who he is. Okay, are you familiar? Yeah, he uh, pulls out a strap on me. He's like, you know, I, I'm already, like, you know, I have a Frenchie. But really, I'm about that, like, you know, you feel me? No, no little strap is going to scare me, you but know? did like, he want to, what, what, what was his problem, though? That's, like, that's so he took thing. it out. Did he want to take your Frenchie, or did he want to rob you? That's, that's my question, you know? I didn't know if you, I didn't know his intentions, but me, coming from my city, you know? Yeah. If I don't know the intentions, just walk away. You, yeah, don't, know, yeah. you don't know him, just walk away. I'm walking yeah. away, and, and I see all these people come up to me, like, you know, just trying to harass me. And a bunch of them. Yeah, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of guys and they, like the David guy. He comes up to me. He says, "Are you Santos?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm Santos." And I keep walking up, but he literally asked me like five times. They could have done something right what, there. Was this on some fan stuff or was this yeah, like? Yeah, this are you was Santos, my like, boy. Yeah, he did not. Yeah, are you Santos? Oh, he saw how big I was in person. Like you know, like he yeah. was he was intimidated, but he and waited. I, 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 how tall are you? I'm like six one, probably like okay. six for the ladies, six three though. Yeah, for the ladies, six three, six four. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> on a good day. Yeah. You know, but um, from there, like, bro, he's like, you know, he sneaked me when I had a Frenchie in my arm. I, bro, I landed on the, I landed on the Frenchie, bro, because there's trash cans right next to me. Oh, you landed and, on the Frenchie. Yeah, but this all started because of that, the, the honey pack girl. Oh, the honey pack girl. Yeah, oh. she had, she had, uh, she had a guts towards me, and she was trying to make everyone my enemies. That's how I get a lot of hate. I think just from what I saw, I think it was just like. You couldn't really tell because it was kind of loud, bro. But all I saw was just swing, and then you fall on the floor. Yeah. No, uh-huh. I, I got up, bro, and they're, like, you know, all trying to kick me and everything. But, they bro, trying to I, up you. I got an iron chin, you feel me? Like, I, that ain't nothing, bro. You got, the, you got the Canelo chin? Yeah, I got the Canelo chin, bro. You feel this chin, bro? I would have, you know, he had rings on and everything. Did nothing. Damn. Did you get any marks on your face? After yeah, that? like a little like a little bruise. But yeah. It went away within, like, two days. Now, like, you know what I'm saying? That happened in a different city. So I hit 100k off that. You hit 100k yeah, off that. Yeah, off okay. That, yeah. Hey, hey. Any publicity is good publicity. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but so since you know, there's some people that don't like you, and everybody has people that don't like them. Yeah. For me, bro, it's like somehow Wendy or T supporters. They're all little girls, but they don't like me. And <laughs> but for you, you got these grown men that don't like you. So do you have to fear in your own city? No, I don't fear nowhere I go. I, I the only person I fear is and is fear you got God. That. Fear God. Hey, you got that on. Uh, he four, four, says fear God. Okay. You know, I got that four by four. On but my over arm. here, they never tried nothing. Uh, they tried, but you know. It's on video? Was it on video? Nah, nothing on video. Nothing on video. I, I'm very, uh, you know, I, I get along with everybody. Yeah, All my yeah, haters yeah. become my lovers at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But it's just, it just, it's still a thing that, you know what I'm saying? You got to watch yourself because it's like, you see how much times, bro, they try to press your boy, D. Kane. Yeah, but, but I feel like they do it more so because of his height and how just like he's he's more so a smaller size, you know what I'm saying? But he's petite. Yeah, he's he's petite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could put it that way, too. But uh, it's the, yeah, so they always they always try D Kane and all of that sort of deal. He has to watch it. He's in his own city. Yeah. But 
it's kind of more so understandable. He has face tats and all of that, and he looks like he's affiliated with somebody. Yeah. I don't know if he actually is, but uh, how'd you get into contact with him? Well, me and him? Yeah. Uh, we met at a Diddy party. <laughs> you met at a Diddy party? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, we, we actually met, we met um, when we first started going live, you know, me and him were pretty popping on live, and I, I linked up with him, bro. Yeah. Pretty cool people. Never on no Diddy stuff, bro. Never on no Diddy nah, stuff. We just cool ass homies, you know. And you guys be going out and stuff. Yeah, we we he's a cool ass dude, bro. He's a cool ass dude. He's just, you know, you know, social media it's kind of twists and turns everything. See, but, but y'all are wild. I, but I, nah, rabbi, that dude does smack his food like, like a freaking cow. For that's sure. literally a question I was gonna ask him, like in the interview. I was like, bro, do you actually eat like that, or do you, you know what I'm saying, or is yeah. it just on live? Nah, he really does eat like that. He actually eats like that. Bro, it's, it sounds like, you sound know, like, like a cow. Like a freaking <laughs> yeah. Shout out to DK, bro. Hopefully we get to meet him uh, on this on this trip over here. What if about the chat? You know what's crazy, bro? I was on t I was in two Ubers yesterday, bro, and they both because they were asking me, "What are you doing here?" And like, I look, he like never tell people. I'm just like, oh, I just out here just like on a business trip. I was like, I'm gonna just tell these fools. I'm in Texas, yeah. And uh, and I was like, oh, I'm actually gonna interview so and so tomorrow, and they're like, I know him. Wait, who? Talking about DK. <laughs> DK? Yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry. I was about to say because me is like more like. Well, it's because your name Santos is like it could be. There's probably multiple Santos, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But D Kane, I feel like there's only, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, D Kane is the only, you know, confuzzle yeah. one here. Yeah, the only confuzzle, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Wazam top Wazam. D. And so, and so, I actually told him, I was like, "Yo, I'm interviewing D Kane. Yo, I know D Kane." And he's like, "Who are you?" And I was like, "Well, you don't know me because yeah, I don't wear my mask, you know what I'm saying? But I, but I got my mask, uh, and I wear my mask in the videos. I do news. Oh, that's you." <laughs> He was like, I just seen you on my For You page. I'm like, Yo. you know what I'm saying, bro? That's me. What are the comments saying? They saying, why he kind of, you feel me, bro? They saying that my body's T, bro. Me and Santos are going to do a push-up challenge after this. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about me. Yo, I've been, I've been doing calisthenics every day, bro. Have you me. interviewed El Moreno Mexicano? I wanted to interview his brother, Drex, Drex the Joint. Drex? Drex the Joint. Bro, me and Moreno Mexicano, bro, we have like some TikTok live freaking, we oh, go crazy. Oh, oh, oh go. you know El Moreno Mexicano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Drex too. Je bro, yeah, I, when I've I was in LA. Person. I met, I've met Drex in person and I'm trying to meet up with Moreno Mexicano soon. Bro, I feel like those two guys, they're going to break the internet. Yeah, who do you think is going to be bigger when it's all said and done? I feel like I already Oh, there's like two different styles, bro. They are two feel, different styles. I feel styles. like, they I really feel like they're going to be top 10 together, you know? I feel like... They could br really break the internet together. Okay. Bro, but this is a thing, too. It's like Santa Fe. You always have to deal with a anybody. Influencer, reporter, artist, whatever. Bro, anybody could fall off really yeah. quick. All it takes is just, oh, you take a little, a little break for five, six uh -huh. months. Look at Javi. Bro, nobody knows Javi no more. Like, he's... I think... He's done. Moreno Mexicano is going to win. You think he's going to win? Yeah, he's, 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 he's going to take that one. Honestly, bro, uh, the way that the Mexican rap, like Mexico rap, is coming up, I think so, bro. And he's he lives in the U.S. I don't think that he knows English, though, Loki. He doesn't know too much English, yeah. but he understands a bit. Yeah, but he, but he understands bro, it. Bro, but Drex, bro, bro, my favorite song by Drex. I have it. It's literally the same Bounce thing. Out? Oh, literally. Oh, shit. Chick bounce Out, bounce, bounce Out. That's my favorite one. Shoot out, son, bro. Day. And then when your hood song come with your mama's day. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he knows what's up. Shout out my dog. He coming with Mama's Day, bro. Hey, shout out to my shout out to my dog Drex. I'm a, I'm a, should I? Bro, should we, we should get. I, I'll get him for you. I'll get Moreno. Uh, Drex. Uh, well, it's because me and Drex. When I went to LA, uh, I hit him up. He's like, oh, bet. Uh, just let me know when. Mm -hmm. But it's because he has like a management now, bro. So it's kind of like, oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go through the management, and bro, he just got a he just got an interview with DJ Academics. Yeah. So I was really trying to do this like before he starts yeah, yeah, getting yeah. more and more. That's what you should be doing every time. You know what I'm scout, the, scout out, be a yeah. scavenger. So right now, bro, I'm trying to scout, you know what I'm saying, for the young artists, trying to interview them. So, sort of like on some Adam 22 stuff, but I don't really like that dude. But Adam 22, uh, scouting out young talent, interviewing them, and then, you know what I'm saying, giving Help, them that platform, yeah, bro. Yeah, giving them the, the exposure. So, yeah, that's, what, that's what this is about, you know? Yeah, bro, this is exactly what this is about. Hey, bro, but you not you not like in a relationship right now? But nah, uh, nah, but nah, but nah. nah. Only re relationship is uh, with God. My dog, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying, bro? Tessa, bro. That, okay, so that Tessa thing, bro. Yeah. Okay, so Meche. All right. Meche? You, already, you already asked about the Meche thing. By the way, chat. We have a lot of 
This thing on Meche is probably going, you know what I'm saying, do yeah, some okay, numbers. So I told you I met that girl at the club, right? I didn't, I didn't know who she was. I, and, and even more for the text, the Tesla girl. Mm-hmm. But the only reason uh, I agreed to hang out with her, and she was reaching out to me. Because why would she reach out to me first if I was just barely blowing up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because she was pocket watching Meche the whole time. And I didn't know about their beef until, like, when I hung out with Tessa. Oh, okay. And then I didn't know anything about her age. I didn't know nothing. And either way, like, it doesn't matter. I'm not the type to, you know, I don't, like even even if it's my homegirl, like I, I would never rush into anything. So this girl was like already trying to be kind of like you know shysty. She was a little shysty. I could tell right away she was a little shysty. But me, I felt like I had a purpose to be out in every city. You know, I got to know her family. I cooked for them. I helped them cook. You I helped them. them. Yeah. So I was like, I never came into their house with bad intentions. You know. Mm. Um, I made a good relationship with her mom. Her mom really trusted me. She was like, you're one of the, like, you know, like, we had a good relationship for for me. It was kind of, like, surprising that she did that. But then it was kind of like, you know, I did leave my wallet there. I left my wallet. I don't know if you know who, what she's known for. So for stealing passports? Yeah. I left my wallet there. <laughs> I left my wallet there, bro. I still don't, I still don't really for, know the passport three story. Days, for three days, my wallet was there. It's because she stole Mitch's passport. She stole Mitch's passport. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, said my, I heard about that. But, yeah, what's up, Brief? But uh, but uh, that's that's crazy. But with your wallet, was anything ever stolen out of there? No, I, that's what I don't know. Like you know, I had all my cards, and I and I trusted her enough not to take pictures or nothing. But like you know, like I left my wallet there for three days. I left, and um, the next sure, day, they the for next sure went days, through it. Huh? I said they for sure went through it. Oh, they for sure went through it. They for sure took a picture and posted <laughs> on the internet somewhere, somewhere <laughs> on a dark site, on a dark know, web, <laughs> dark web. But um. <laughs> But yeah, for sure. And then I hung out with some random guy that I just met off TikTok. We were collabing, and that was her baby daddy. That was her baby daddy. Yeah, because she was. She, I think she and Lalo. She kept saying Lalo kept saying I was the baby daddy just to troll me. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, now I actually met her real baby daddy, which is Johnny. Johnny the fool. Hmm. Another TikToker out there. But where's that fool from? From LA. He's from LA. Yeah, he's from LA. But yeah, I want to ask you about another influencer from LA. There's another one named uh, Juju. Juju. Juju on the beat. Juju. The one that's, you know what I'm saying? She's, always, she's like always in controversy, but I feel like she's always in controversy for the wrong reason. You yeah, know I mean, me and, her, me and her were mutuals on TikTok, too. She just unfollowed me out of nowhere, and I think it's from all the drama. Juju unfollowed yeah, you. Yeah, she unfollowed me. A lot of unf- uh, Benji unfollowed me. Benji Juju unfollowed you? unfollowed me, and I, I invested into Benji before he was even born. I got to take it, Benji him. unfollowed me. Bro, I would send him baby lions all the time. I would send him hundreds of dollars, bro, just so I could, I just to see him smile, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's a nice him. kid. Yeah, I, I, I really liked him. You know, I just recently posted the video joking around because some guy called him Cara de Aguacate. Uh, he's young. You saw that video? Wait, wait, wait. wait. I collab with that dude. dude. I, I, I did him the most just to collab with, you know, yeah. Benji's only op. <laughs> oh, Benji's, oh, Benji's only op. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's that's me. I, I'm that type of troll, you know, I'll do the most just to get a little giggle. Yeah, out. yeah. But, wait, so that's why Benji unfollowed you? Nah, it was before that, way before that. It was before that. Yeah, but you know, I kept it cool. It just, I saw the opportunity. I met the guy, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video. Do you? What? What about uh with the um, going back to Juju? Because we kind of like you know oh, saying yeah, swore off a Juju. little bit. But Juju, she had like this video right where a street vendor came up to her and was like, "Hey, I'm selling you these candies. You know, what I'm saying? yada yada." Mm-hmm. And they said, "How much is it?" She said, "They're four dollars." Yeah. And she responded, "Oh, the Disney oh my fault, it. Disney." You oh, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and then it. his her homie, I don't know who that fool was. He's like, "Them Anaheim prices." You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and how do you feel about that, bro? I feel like a lot of these influencers you see on the, on the internet now these days, the reason why they're influencers is because they have enough time to be an influencer. And you see their age is like, you know, they've been baby their whole life. So for them to see someone actually going, and I was a street vendor at some point in my life too. I saw the Lotus, you know, but like, you know, you're, you know, with the little hats on the side, yeah. you know, little barrio. Who did you used to go with? Uh, my cousin. Oh, was your cousin? Yeah, my cousins, bro. We, we used to do that everywhere I went. I saw the Lotus over there in Alabama where my mom lives and here in San Antonio, too. That's where your mom stays at? Yeah, she lives in Alabama. In Alabama? Damn, I didn't know that, bro. But, but yeah, could continue on. With, with yeah, the, so I was a street vendor, but like most of these influencers like Juju. They, yeah. Yeah, you know, they, they probably don't know what it is to... You know? They don't understand like what it means, right? Yeah, and then like for a lot of people, like they don't they don't really know that that's the only way, that's their only source of income. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like I just feel like it it, it comes down to like parenting a lot of times. But at the same time, you know, like I always say, it's not the it, it, no one's ever a, a bad person. They're just not educated enough. 
Are you throwing shots because she didn't graduate high school? <laughs> <laughs> you say he's yeah. not educated enough. You got to put two, nah, two together. See, type I didn't know that, but like, you know, I mean, it makes sense now. <laughs> but did you know that she didn't graduate high school? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so like there was this thing. She was on Itati Lopez podcast, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Itati Lopez uh, asked her, hey, pues, you know what I'm saying? What was your highest level of education? She said, I, gr- I dropped out of high school. I, like, I didn't go to high school. Why don't you ask me questions you like that? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna ask you some questions right now. Yeah. But but are you are you educated? I'm yeah. You you, yeah. Wanna, you wanna know my highest level? Uh let hey, me, I'm gonna take a guess. Community college. I did community college, but two years? I, wait, how old do you think I am? That is a lot. Do you a, do you wanna expose your age? I I've already said my age a few times, but I'm not even gonna uh, But I, I, I I'll say it and you you say it's wrong. Yeah. Or, okay, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, what's my life high school? I graduated high school. You're like 23. Nah, I graduated. 22. I graduated high school at 15, bro. So, oh, you did. Yeah, and then I, I started going to college at like 16, and then I joined the military at 17. Oh. So yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like already kind of like rushing into life so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, and my mom always told me like, "Get it bien, alacelerado." You know, you, you're always rushing everything. You're never enjoying anything. It's like I, I just felt like I always needed to rush life. That's you why know, this food doesn't sleep. I, I know I don't sleep. I haven't slept. <laughs> he hasn't slept the whole night, bro. I don't know how you do it. But anyways, yeah, we'll proceed, bro. What are you yeah. Doing? So my highest level of education is like I have uh, two associates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And graduate high school early. You know, when I have military service behind me, and no, that's it. That's, I went to college. That's, that's respectable. Do you guys see that? That's what an influencer is supposed to respond like. I, I just feel like if you're an influencer, you at least have had to graduate high school, bro. And a lot of people, they call them influencers, but they don't really influence like nothing positive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I see. I, I feel you, bro. I respect you a lot because you say that you're trying to make a change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talking more about God and you know I, actually. I do, so you're an influencer. Everything. Stuff. It's like if I went to go eat canes mm-hmm. right now. You know, you're, you're gonna influence someone to go buy, to go get some food. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're influencing everything. You little, like every little thing you do. Like there's people watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm the oldest brother of eight, so I I know apart from all those people that watch me, it's another eight, another yeah. eight. It's stuff that brings value, bro. You know, that's value. all that it is. Bro, I have a question that I really wanted to ask you. I appreciate the, we appreciate the gifts. Oh, appreciate the gifts. He said hey, that Haley. he's gonna split the money with me. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? hey, chat. Whatever we, uh, <laughs> if y'all send a galaxy for every galaxy y'all send. Um, we split gonna, it. We're gonna lift up the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look, we have a serious question to ask you already. No. So there was there was an incident, right? And this was like a few months back, and uh-huh. they were talking about somebody got graped. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Without yeah, the yeah, G. Without I, the G. I, I, know, I know that. Okay, so do you? Want, I, I think I defended you. Uh huh. You 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 were one of the first ones, and I appreciate yeah, yeah, that yeah. a lot because I felt like it was the world against me. Yeah. Like it was it was one of the. Like at first, I didn't take it too like you know harsh because it was already a repetitive thing from this certain friend group that's been trying to make me look bad. But it's just like it just got to the point where I, I was like I was not expecting hmm. for that to like yeah, explode yeah, yeah. And, and especially when there's like they were laughing about it. Like if it was a real, a real serious topic, yeah, I would have already either been in jail, been going to court for it, or at least they would have gone to the police station. Yeah, because and, and that's like, that's the first step that that girl should have done if it was actually yeah, real. Go to the police station, don't go to TikTok. But that's like something you know? like I, I don't joke. Around. And I said it like I was in the military, but I I joined a group that went against SA, like that blue rope that I would wear. It, like I was on my free time in the military was to go and respond and talk to survivors, victims. And, like, my job was to witness, hear a bunch of things like that. Why would I go after doing that whole time and do something, like, be capable of doing something like that? Yeah. I took care of that girl. Yeah. You know, she got, you know, she got too uh, faded in Mexico. And this she, is Mexico. She was over there going with other guys. Uh-huh. Like, you know, like, for me, that girl wasn't nothing of mine. I let her go do whatever she wanted. Yeah. My phone got lost. I don't have no pictures or videos of my big girl. I didn't back up none of my my things, and she know I was going through like I was going insane, bro. I had no way to go back to the United States. Damn, they robbed me, and I had no contact of her, and I, we, we basically lost you know contact of each other, and it was just a crazy experience. Like, you know, you got robbed in Mexico. I got robbed in Mexico, and I went all the way deep into Tijuana to go get my stuff back. Oh wait, 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 did you you find out who it was? I stole your I, stuff. You want to know how I got another phone? Wait, hold on. I, I wanna, I wanna ask you. I, I wanna ask you how I, you got robbed first. How I got robbed, bro? I was drunk walking back. You were drunk walking back in Tijuana. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, we were having a good time. It's, it's in Mexico. We're, My we're, boy's in in, uh, in Hong Kong. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy, Santos. I should have bought the hat. That's crazy, bro. Santos. 
You know, no munches. Like, you know, okay, okay. We were. You got we were, 500 viewers up in this piece? Damn. What's up, everybody? You doing a bit? Yo, Haley, thank you for the roses. Wait, wait how, much, how, much, how much do you average views? Some, bro, it depends, bro. Really, it really depends on what time. Yesterday, you like. In the night, it was like some, but it's because there's less viewers. It was like a hundred something. It's because I'd be also getting reported. Oh, uh, so. But is this high to you? Is this high for you? Not really? Mm -hmm. You get like a thousand? Bro, I get like two thousand. Like when, especially on collabs, like two to four thousand. I told him. Hey, Chad, is, this, is he capping? No. I Does he him, usually I get 2K? Him, I'm told him the, the goal for today is four thousand. He said he's just making up story. <laughs> Bro, but all right, all right. So going back to that story, right, where uh -huh. you said this certain girl, were you dating this girl or did no, you know no, her? No, 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 no. This girl paid for my flight to hang out with her. She played. She paid. I for was your in flight. Vegas, bro. I was in Vegas. Okay. This girl paid for me to go see her. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. obviously wanted like you know more intentions than friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, obviously we obviously did things more than friends. I have videos and everything as proof. And then, uh, you know, we were cool for a few months after that, and then. I stopped talking to her. I just, I just, I was just going to things like real life stuff. You know, I didn't yeah. have no more time for little flings. I didn't, I didn't have no more time for little girlfriends. So I cut off everybody. And for her, she took that the wrong way. She thought that I just like you know cut her off. You know, she felt um, I don't know, like I don't know, betrayed. And but then she goes and talks to like Des and all of them. Oh. And then I don't know who gave her the idea to do that, but for them. For all of them to go and team up against me like that, it was, it was just like, for me, it was like, hey, you know, esa gente no vale verga. You know? Yeah, come on. No, no eran buenos amigos, and then it showed right there and then. Like, no, th those friends were never my friends. Yeah. So, but, this, whenever, whenever it was like the, she was like accusing you of this stuff, bro. Well, mm -hmm. she never took it to the police department. She never did. So, that was completely false. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what's the sad part, bro, is that, uh, say I drop a clip or something like that, they'll be like, "Oh, he raped somebody," and then the whole t the whole thing is not true. Yeah, I know. Yeah, imagine how I feel. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, I lose either way. Yeah, it makes you. You know, I I feel like I'm I'm just yeah. always gonna be, you know, getting hated on for some for something, even if it's not true. But that's the troll community. Bro, that's all. That's all the the trolls and the comments. And like, if you let it get to you, it'll tear you yeah, down. Yeah, look, I'm not bro. Someone, I'm not someone easily to get torn down for it. Look, bro, I, I went through some. I went through similar stuff, but it wasn't with grape stuff. It was me interviewing Lil Jaime, right? <laughs> they, bro, I interviewed Lil Jaime. They literally called me a C H O M O, right? Yeah. And I said, how does that make me the C H O M O? Yeah. And I, at the time, I didn't even really know like of his own entire situation. Then I saw a video. Somebody sent me the video. They're like, he he's like literally admitting to it. And I was like, okay, this fool, you know what I'm saying, did this stuff. I don't know. He, he didn't actually touch somebody, but he intended to do so. Yeah. So yeah. that was kind of like my problem. And I got caught out for it. And I, people still, oh, yeah, you're a CHO. I'm like, how yeah, does that make me I that? mean, it, You know what I'm saying? I mean, there is this one phrase I like to I like to repeat. is like, you are who you hang with. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. you're not. You know, you're just entering the dude. Yeah, facts, bro. You know Facts, but 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 bro, check this out. They're gonna try to say the same exact thing with D Kane. But yeah, but like they're it, gonna try it, to say there's two sides of every story. And if it weren't for this, how are you gonna find out what the reality of the person? You're judging someone without even getting to know them. That's the same thing. You're you're getting to know someone before you know. Bro, you're, you're able to analyze as a person. Like, okay, look at his body body language and I yeah. this. Hey, look at this and that. Like, you you become. You know, like you become someone that's a resource to see, like what's up. Look, let me say something else too. They shout out to my boy Pancho because Pancho interviewed D Kane, but I just feel like it's something different whenever you actually but go. But he, he was kind of like uh, just one sided. It, he was just one sided. Oh, okay. Like just using everything he got sent. Because for me, like bro, like when they were doing the proof or anything, it was like fake Snapchat messages. I don't even type like that. Like what? what like what? They kind of like fake it, bro. No, bro it was like, it's, I'm not gonna like, lie, it's really easy to Photoshop stuff. Exactly, no, but no, it's Snapchat like messages, bro. I don't even use Snapchat like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I already know, bro. They're gonna try to say the same exact thing with me and DK. They're gonna say, oh, you're. I can't believe that you interviewed that fool and stuff. But look, chat. This is what I gotta say. They requested it, so I'm gonna give it to you guys. Um, and I I'm a very unbiased uh, reporter, bro. And I'm a I'm a God willing to do the interview You know what I'm saying And I'm going to let bro speak And I'm going to let him say The exact story Do you think that he up. actually did that? Uh, D Kane? I know D Kane And I feel like he didn't Like I feel like he's He's a He's you know Solid guy He's a solid dude You know he's not going to He wouldn't be on the net If he really did that Yeah You know like If you're Shout on the net Kane. Bro where's D Kane at bro He's about to pull up already I know let me call him real quick <laughs> Hey they leaked your phone number <laughs> Who 
who linked your phone number? <laughs> yeah, bro, it's the same group. They, they, bro, months later, bro, and you're still obsessed, bro. Dad, focus on those roaches. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. She got roaches? Yeah, she do. That's I, that's how I people live on one, and that shit had like had like a hundred more babies. I was like, oh, oh hell my god. god. Nah, like nah, nah, I'm like the death situation. Like, bro, I, bro, I met her cause she was cloud chasing. Now she just red flag right there and cut her off. She was just cloud chasing. Yeah, and she's like obsessed, and she's like really obsessed. She's like a like a cloud demon. You know what a cloud <laughs> demon is, bro? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like they're not gonna stop until they get everything. Like she's already got her account taken, and she still talks about me. Well, it's because she's trying to she's trying to get paid off of it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. that's that's not really the way to go, you yeah, know. What I mean, saying? I mean, just getting known just for being a hater of somebody. Really yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see what the comments are saying. All right, Chad. Look, we're gonna take some comments in from the comments section. So, uh, you wanna should we, should we bring this up a little more? Though? Should we go read something? Des is fine though. <laughs> is Des fine? Uh, I feel like nah. He I, said your legs. I've done better. I, I could do better. Uh, he averages 200 views. <laughs> <laughs> they clowning. Okay, oh, let's, hey, uh, hey, let's hey, let hey, me ask you about you Oblivion. That. You know what I'm saying? Who is this guy? Okay, so he's a he's a kick streamer, bro. But he was uh he was hitting me up when he was like start started this stuff, okay. you know. Yeah. But every time he wanted to hang out, he just like always asked for something in return. You know, like he either asked for like oh bring girls or or bring this or bring that. Then I didn't like that, you know. I was already used to like people trying to use me, trying to, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. So I kind of like would avoid that, and then you know he started blowing up later on. And I was like, I still didn't care, like you know. Oh, you do your own thing. I see. So he was kind of doing stuff, but was he was always hoping for something in return? Yeah, it wasn't like genuine. Yeah, it's not. It's not when I don't mean a genuine person. It's just like you know, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. You know, for me, it's like it's not a. It's, I'm not gonna win nothing out of it. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. gonna win something out of it. Yeah. Yo, now she said, show me where you average 2K. Bro, I literally, bro, chat, I've been averaging, I, I'll show y'all right now. Bro, they're tripping, chat. Is that Pancho? <laughs> it says that Panchito. Hey, bro, my Panchito? Nah, bro. <laughs> Hell nah. Who's more good looking? <laughs> Me or Panchito? No, Diddy. You, <laughs> Bro, Pancho hey. looks like, Pancho does look like a fucking deal, bro. I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna say nothing about my boy Panchito, bro. They gonna get me canceled. They gonna try to... They gonna try to put me me against my boy Pancho, bro. So you don't you don't you're not cool, with Pancho. Uh, I I I don't even, I can't even say I respect his hustle anymore. This you can't respect you don't respect Pancho's hustle. Nah, but why though? I feel like he he could he could do it like you. You know you know he could actually like do it like more of a positive peaceful way, but he like attacks more like negative. You know, negative news about people. So you're trying to say he, that he, he more so specializes in canceling? People? Yeah, he, he's more in cancel culture. He's like, well, why would you? Why would you want to go and live off that? You know, off, oh. off negative. You know, whatever you put into the world comes back to you know. Like, I know for for sure that's why he avoids everybody. He doesn't hang out with nobody. He'll never be able to. Hey, I try to hang out with my boy Panchita, bro, but we still we still working on that. I really want to play bro at basketball. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to. I'm oh. trying to cross you up. You you really want the? I'm trying to cross you up. You bro. want the Santos PRC smoke? I won't give you the 44 Vato smoke, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's but showing you the 2K views, bro. Y'all are fake account saying <laughs> stuff. You can't even be on a real account saying this, bro. I, hey, they tripping. Shout out to El Tijuana, bro. This dude, Pancho Comal. Yo, Chad, what are you? Doing? <laughs> he has been hanging with. He has been hanging with influencers, bro. I, I, you saw who I was just live with, right? I, yeah, bro, he, he, he was wanna, on live with the Mighty Duck. Bro, that's not even the... Oh. How you got two phones, gang? Bro, I'm a... Hey, first person popped up, me? Yeah. That's tough. You always do, bro. He's. They're saying that you don't like Pancho because he doesn't post you. Jack like Doherty and the Island Boys, bro. Wait, wait, bro, wait, like, you, wait, wait, you, wait. you understand that I, like... Oh, he follows you, Jack Doherty? Dude? Yeah, bro, bro. You understand, like, all these... Like, and I'm going to keep showing you. I have multiple, 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 like, like big streamers, big yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. artists, like... Yeah. They all fuck with me. Yeah, and I'm, not other influence, and not TikTokers. And yeah, you, you look at my numbers. It's like, okay, why would he want to mess with you? You don't. I don't even use sound so much. I don't post every day. Why do they mess with me? Because you know, like I, I give them a certain type of respect. I, I yeah. get the money. Like, yeah, you know, I got a different type of hustle. You know, like no, nah, and honestly, bro, you're. Uh, 
uh, he's honestly not lying about this because uh, the whole entire time, bro, I've been in San Antonio and, you know what I'm saying, been, like, talking to his food. He's been trying to set me up with more interviews. Like, it's not just uh, his homies, but it's like, hey, bro, we could get this rapper, we could get this rapper. And then, I don't know why, but people have been hitting me up. I don't know if it's because of him, but they've been hitting me up. Yeah. So this fool actually has motion in the city. Uh, you try to give me with trap a lot, you know. Yeah, trap yeah. a lot. Shout out to trap a lot. Shout out know? to my boy trap a lot. Um, uh, there's also uh, more more rappers and more artists. You know what I'm saying? And I know, bro, that like through you, you know what I'm saying, we could do some stuff happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'll and I'll try to return the same favor to you, bro. Um, but bro, uh, going back to the Bancho subject, people were saying that it's because he doesn't post you that you don't like him. No, no, no. He does post me. No, he no. Does post he, he loves posting only bad things about me. That's the thing. What but was I'm the like, last bad thing that he said? Bro, he just, was it the grape? Yeah, the grape thing, bro. But he even even he was like, bro, that's he knows that was BS. Wait, he wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that he knew he was that knew, he knew it was BS? But he posted yeah, he it? still posted. Like, I'm like, that's that's how I know. Like the the bros is hating. But did he tell you that he knew that it was fake, bro? He literally was like, I'm not gonna post it, because he knows what's up. Oh, I was on the phone with him with uh. Or the yeah. another influencer that was part of the new drama that just came out recently that, that happened this weekend. Uh, I don't know if you heard about. Nah, I didn't want. I didn't want. To you can say it. Say it. They're, I don't want to get the views. The, the 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 people that just. Okay, so this weekend I went to the casino, right? Okay. And something I don't know if you saw that live. Uh, something happened at the casino. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't so I don't someone think I saw it. someone paid me to go and hang out with them and everything, but uh -huh. you know they obviously wanted more. I told them, well, bro, I'm not a no male, you know. Yeah. P O R O O S, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, 400 ain't enough. I'll do it for 2K and I'll play. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like, you know, I was like, I was just waiting for like, you know, a little bit more uh, for, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, I, I, I feel you. You know, I feel opinion you. on Saudi Bay. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. But yeah, so this weekend, uh, I almost got arrested for that. If this no, happened in Phoenix, Arizona. I have some Well, you stay up. almost getting arrested, bro. Yeah. Well, that one was my, not my fault. She kept chasing me and harassing me. <laughs> but it's just because I was on live. Do you feel like you hang out with a lot of bad influences? Nah, I feel like I... You were telling me before the thing that who you were hanging out with. I was like, why are you hanging out with them? <laughs> he was like, I'm going to take you to so-and-so. And I was like, why would I want to go there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say the, the stuff that you were invited yeah, to, but yeah, I was no, like, no. why would I go? <laughs> like, hey, I'm trying to tell this fool, make some better decisions. But you do you, how, do you want to say how old you are? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm 19. He's 19? Are you lying? Chat, is he lying? I, I, if I said 23, bro, it's because you haven't freaking slept the whole night. That's probably why you look a little older right now. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I told bro he could take a nap right here, bro, but... He he thinks I'm gonna do some Diddy stuff to him, so <laughs> no. you know what I'm saying. That's why he don't want to fall asleep. Nah, it's just it's just chat. I have a busy day. I'm gonna go see my baby girl right now in a bit. You know, oh yeah, Please. my daughter. That's the reason why. Like, uh, I had to separate from that girl too. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. 23, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Hey, so uh, I also have one more question, bro. We're gonna we're gonna end it here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. But you also um, were in the military, bro, and you're not in the military anymore. Yeah. Did uh, you get dishonorably discharged? No, 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 not di no, no dishonorable. And everyone keeps saying that I, I, I got like I didn't even pass my boot camp or textbook. That's, <laughs> that's false, bro. <laughs> How the hell was I in active duty? And like, bro, I was stationed in Travis, so they, they could even search it up, bro. And I traveled everywhere, bro, and I injured myself. You know, I totally so? But obviously, I got out. Like, I can't say too much on that, but I got out because you know. I wanted to get out. But, but did you complete the I'm contract? No, no, I'm still on, under contract. It's just I'm on, um, like, medical hold, like, bro. Oh, medical hold? Yeah. But how long have you been in the military? Uh, since 2022. So two years? Yeah. How, how did you join at 17, then, and you're 19? Because I was an emancipated adult. Emancipated? I, I went as an, in as an E3, like, a, a, with a, already a higher rank. Oh, already a higher rank? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was just because of my college degrees. Because of your college degrees. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. This is an educado ass fool right here. You know what I'm saying? I respect yeah, but I was it, bro. a trayezo, you know, looking at wrong. Like, you know, I was always getting in trouble in school, but, you know, I don't recommend that to anybody. But if this I, fool, I could tell you're a travieso because you got a scar here, you got a scar here. I'm like, you got scars there. This fool was a silver tooth kid, bro. I could tell that. You know what I'm saying? He's a silver tooth kid. Are you, did you have silver tooth growing up? Yeah. 
You did? Yeah. I could tell, bro, easily. But I was I was a, I was a charming, you know, with the teachers, you know. I always got along with the teachers. Yeah. You know, I was the type to, you know, dress up nice at school. You trying to get at them? At my Spanish teacher, yeah. She was out. Oh. She trying to get at you too? No, I, I pulled up after, you know, in my military uniform. After. Oh. Bro, I yeah. went straight to that classroom first, you know. I was like, yeah. just. Gave her a little hug. That's the little crazy. dude Dennis hug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I waited after class. I was like, you wait after class. I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Hey, Santos, bro. We've been filming. I don't even know how long, bro, but I know we covered a lot of different things, bro. Is there anything that you want to ask me? Um, hmm. Which, which city have you liked the best that you've been traveled to? Which city have I liked the best? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I really, really like San Francisco, bro. San Francisco? Yeah. You really? I love San Francisco. Golden State. I used to live there, bro. Really? Yeah, I used to live there. But uh, I'll, I'll say San Francisco. And then uh, if we're talking about Texas, I haven't really, like, went outside over here. You know what I'm saying? But this is a city that, that me and my family wanted to move to, bro, when, we were, when I was a little kid. Really? San Antonio? So, yeah, San Antonio. But it just, we, it just never panned out. Because I have a, I have aunties that live here. But... Um, it just never panned out. They li- they moved. We didn't move. Um, but I would still say, bro, break, bro. I like Austin, low key. Austin, yeah. Austin. Houston's a city though, for sure. Houston, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's hood as hell though. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, you're right. Gang, I had roaches up in my Airbnb. I'm like, what the hell, bro? No, you were at Desert's? I-, I was in Houston. Oh yeah. I was I-, I was in the hood. I don't know what hood, but <laughs> I was there. You know what I'm saying? I went downtown, bro. Party it up. That's back when I was on my stuff, bro. That was like two, that was like two, three years ago. You're in my touch list. What is that? Houston, Nasty. But yeah, chat. Hey, look, we have Santos PRC. You know, there might be things that we didn't cover, bro. But there's always gonna be a part two. It might be in a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. Maybe but when I start making music or something, yeah, me and bro gonna link up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, here pretty soon, bro. Is there anybody else that you wanna uh, link up with? Is there somebody who you would wanna oh. collab with? I already met most of the people I want to collab with. Photo? Yeah, I already. I mean, if I could, uh, Kevin Moreno that is my next collab. I'm trying to hit up the Mexico side. Asking about Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Oh, Juan Carlos. Oh, this is more dead drama. More dead drama. So basically, they're saying, uh, you know, that this girl was bro that she was instigating. She was like, it was to the point where she was just calling me on random numbers, and everything, instigating me, you know. just so bad, bro. It's a, it's a, it's a freaking monthly drama, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it, feel you. That shit's gonna change me to like. <laughs> but these fools, these fools are saying that you've been crossing your fingers the whole life, just lying. <laughs> 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 they said that you've been lying through the whole life. <laughs> Yo, where can I join? <laughs> Yo, you stay talking about her. No, it's just y'all keep mentioning her. We, uh, I think that we covered a lot of everything, bro. Almost everything, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But I do want to appreciate my boy right here, Santos, for pulling up, bro. You want you got a last message for them? Last message is you know delivered to God. You, oh no, I'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all in oh, yeah, the next episode. Maybe maybe I'll even help them interview people. For sure, bro. God loves you though. Jesus loves you. I wear okay. ski masks too. Hey, for sure. All right, bro. Woo.